more than 70% of our workers are exposed to excessive heat, at least excessive heat at one point in their working lives. That's 2.4 billion workers globally. More than 22 million workers suffering from sicknesses and injuries related to uh, exposure to excessive heat. And these can range from injuries uh, in transport, in traffic accidents due to a bad night of sleep uh, because it was excessively hot, to construction accidents, injuries slips and falls um, related to the exposure to, to heat. Nearly 20,000 workers are dying yearly because of these injuries um, in the workplace related to uh, rising temperatures and to exposure to excessive heat, indoor and outdoor heat, um, and losing millions, two, over 2 million uh, disability-adjusted uh, years are lost because of injuries and deaths related to heat. 15,000 people die uh, due to parasitic and vector-borne diseases uh, exposed to in the workplace. Obviously, these include um, a lot of uh, diseases like dengue, rabies, um, and, uh, and, and various uh, diseases that are increasing in regions that we never used to see them uh, before. Um, and uh, malaria has even increased, and we're seeing it's shown in countries that it never used to be before. The key issues we face are not where it's known to be very hot for the longest of period, where people are very acclimatized, but it's the new regions where heat was never such an issue and has become an issue that we're facing some of the acute uh, injuries that, that we're seeing today. So we do have a list of detailed uh, policy examples, collective bargaining examples, but also ra awareness raising and training programs um, that deal with all of the hazards I mentioned, from vector-borne disease uh, control um, to air pollution to pesticides.